In today's episode, we're exploring an abandoned U.S. government medical research facility. These buildings were constructed in the 1920s and conducted research by the U.S. Army. With a focus on infectious diseases, the facility was working on the prevention and treatment to stop the spread and develop vaccines. The complex focused research on malaria, HIV AIDS, dengue fever, and more. During the Cold War, the facility was responsible for the research of radiation effects on the human body. Eventually, it closed in the 90s. Join us as we discover what's left. Protect yourself on the internet with the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. NordVPN protects your online privacy by making sure your data is encrypted before it even leaves your device. It hides your internet traffic from other websites, ISPs, and anyone that may be snooping on a public network. When connecting to public networks like hotels, airports, or coffee shops, I always make sure I'm protected with a VPN. Anyone can be vulnerable to a man in the middle attack when connecting to unknown Wi-Fi networks and NordVPN helps make sure my traffic is secure. It's great when traveling or just to get around region restrictions at home. With over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, you can browse the web without borders. And with their ultra fast connections, you don't need to sacrifice speed for better security. You can protect all of your devices as one account supports six simultaneous connections and it works with all major operating systems. This is great so you can protect your phone and your laptop. I have a handful of network devices and thanks to NordVPN, they can all be secure at the same time. Take control of your internet experience today with NordVPN. Right now, you can get a two year plan at a huge discount, plus four additional months for free. It's risk free as every purchase is protected with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. Visit nordvpn.com slash proper people or click the link in the description below. These are some nice hallways. Wow, this is a nice hallway. These rooms have seen better days. It's very decayed. Here's the main entrance. This is the main entrance, yeah. There's a theater in there. The Joseph E. Smoddle Lecture. It's got those classic old asylum feels, but it's not an asylum. Those windows above the doors yeah. remind me of spider webs. We've but seen you see that design windows a lot. just like this in other hospitals. Yeah. But they do look like spider webs. Let's see if there's a theater in here. Oh, yes. More of an auditorium than a theater. Yeah, it's got. This is a good one. Almost wow. like gym floors. I wish they didn't black out the windows, but still, it's really nice in here. We've got sound deadening all over the projection booth. The light fixtures are really nice too. It's a very basic stage. Now 
I don't see much up in the projection booth, but we'll go check it out. What's the word for wood ceilings like this? When they're inset like that? There's a stairwell here. Let's try to stick to our usual, do one floor at a time and work our way up. Make sure, sure we make sure we didn't miss anything. And this definitely seems like the kind of place where we don't want to leave any corner unturned. This is a lot of plaster on the ground. I'm only used to seeing this amount of decay in buildings that have been like completely destroyed yeah. by like vandals. Mm -hmm. They've been there for that long. So it's weird to see a building get this decade and still be untouched. Well, this building has been abandoned since 99, so it doesn't even, it's not even that long yeah. abandoned. This is another sort of main entrance. Yeah, each wing had its own name, own dedication, own entryway. Look at this plaque here. In memory of the officers, nurses, and enlisted men of the medical department. United States Army, who lost their lives during the World War. This tablet is erected by their co-workers of the medical department. This is a lab. These were all labs. The light in here is very nice. There's a map over here. Reactor roof. Reactor roof? Reactor, Reactor roof. roof. This facility had one of the earliest nuclear reactors installed to experiment with the effects of radiation on animals. The solution type 50,000 watt reactor produced neutrons and gamma rays to study their effects on living tissues for the development of radiation diagnosis and therapy. They would directly expose living organisms as large as rabbits to nuclear reactions to monitor and record the effects. This place is massive though, this is just one floor out of three plus a basement. And directly across the hall is another lab. Quite a bit bigger. All the drawers are stacked on top. This place is pretty crazy and we've barely scratched the surface. This lab has some of the colorful drawers. They're not actually installed, but.
much darker down the swing. Oh no, are we heading into drop ceiling territory? Yeah. That's not what I like to hear. Department of Immunology. And I did read that this hospital had a large collection of viruses that were high risk. So this is probably where they would have been researching COVID if it happened in like, <laughs> you know, the 60s or 70s, whenever they were still using this I place. bet you that's what it was. Ooh, this is a very blue lab. I like how each lab has its own color scheme. It's like every single room in this place I want to stop and take shots of. It's so good. Peach colored drawers. This one's an outlier with the general color scheme. Let's see what's behind these double doors. It's probably the connection to the extension. Yeah. But what's in the extension? Oh yeah, much newer building in here. Yeah. Could still be interesting stuff in here though. No drop ceiling in here. Yeah. It's actually less modernized because it was already modern-ish. Yeah, it already has built-in HVAC. That's why. We know we wanted to do our floor-by-floor floor thing, but having seen the map saying there's possibly a reactor over here, we can't resist just popping down. It's like a whole other floor down here. Here's our main entrance. This is less like a basement and more like just more labs. <laughs> yeah. If it's still here, it should be off to the left somewhere. And I'm guessing it's probably gonna be below grade. Restricted access, just a lab, okay. Here's stairs down. It's probably down here. Oh, it's really flooded. This is definitely the right place though. How high is the water? Real high. But like, could waders get you like through? Like waist high. Oh, waiters would get you through this, yeah. for sure. Can't see much in there. It looks really decayed. I just see collapsing light fixtures. Yeah. Well, this is definitely the right way to go to get to the reactor. I'm down to buy waiters and come back here sometime. Yeah. Is this water going to be radioactive? If only there was like a sign for it, but it was decommissioned in the 70s. Just as access to sub-basement. These labs all have decontamination certificates. There's a giant freight elevator right here. This looks like sample storage of some kind. Ooh, it's smelly in here. Really? This was definitely sample storage in a refrigerated room. 
It smells like disinfectant or chemical. Okay. Yeah, I feel like they at least decontaminate everything before abandoning it. Yeah. They have all the paperwork for decontamination on all the doors. Yeah, the entire room has been topically decontaminated. One hour contact time. All services and equipment were thoroughly soaked. And it looks just like a hundred other labs in this building. You pulled it? Should I? Yeah. Well, that server's 99. <laughs> yeah. This lab has one of those rolly ladders. Wheels aren't really working, but it still slides. And this will connect back to the original building? Yeah. Yep. And no drop ceiling in this part. What's in that box, though? Interesting. Yeah, all the calendars in here are 99. Wait, what if there was like mosquitoes in there or something? That's to keep, if they're doing research on mosquitoes. So I saw a mosquito were, sticker on another door. They were doing a lot of research on yellow fever in here. So this is probably so a mosquito couldn't escape and fly away. Good thing there's no mosquitoes left. Look, there's more screen here too. I like the little arched window in this lab. Looks cool. Another screened in room. They got screens on here as well. So you're saying this institute discovered something about they malaria, I think? No, they discovered that yellow fever came yellow from fever. mosquitoes. Okay. Oh yeah, that it was spread via mosquitoes instead of human to human contact. Yeah. Okay, it's finally time to go up to the second floor. Wow, very peely up here. This one is super decayed. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a lot more decayed the farther we head in this direction. No food. And then it says here, Department of Bacterial Diseases. Caution, biological material. And it's like a lab inside the fridge. Department of Bacterial Diseases Autoclave Room. So 
Here's Damn. where they'd sterilize everything. The inside of the autoclave is starting to oxidize. You see the green? Yeah. It's gonna make too much noise. Looks very different than hospital autoclaves. They're not built into the wall at all. Well, I mean, I think that's just a design choice. They're just in here because they were probably added later for whatever reason. This is where they'd be researching COVID. Department of Virus Diseases. Communicable diseases. Oh yeah, communicable diseases on top. This lab is so colorful. It's really clashing. Got light blue cabinets, dark blue shelves, and yellow walls. Strange. I wonder if any of these labs here collaborated with NASA. Sending samples into zero gravity and stuff. They still have writings on the whiteboards. I'm gonna drop something on a parachute. Oh, we've got surgical lights. I don't think they were doing surgery in this building. No, unless so it's on was, an animal or something for research. Yeah, something to do with you know, research. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got full articulation. This is a medical research classroom. A lot of wooden cubbies off to the side for some reason. There's nothing left in the projector room. I wonder what's up there. I see some glass block. Might just be mechanical stuff. Wow, these doors are different up here. These are huge electrical connections. Holy shit, you're right. Those you are can huge. You see the individual phases. I yeah. Out. Like these aren't wow. wires. These are like bus bars running through yeah. this. I saw that in my peripheral vision and assumed it was like air conditioning or something. <laughs> no, that's like. These are straight bus bars hallway. running through this hallway for whatever reason. Maybe we'll find out. Looks like people have been stripping them down mm -hmm. there too. Of course, some valuable metals. All right, let's check out the small hallway. The electrical does run down here as well. Oh, we got lights. There's no table or anything here though. But I bet you they probably had a wheeled one they could bring in here. Wow. Very old one. It needs some lube.
here's a notice related to some radioactive stuff. Department of Cellular Injury. That makes me think radiation, because what else injures you at a cellular level? Yes, scrappers have been hard at work in here, pulling out all this electrical equipment. <laughs> it's completely empty over here. The whole courtyard. It's like a jungle now. These vines have grown up the whole building, all the way to the roof. These are classrooms down here. These vines have grown all the way past the top floor. There we go, talking about working with NASA. They're sending stuff into space. So the door over there is locked. And then there's this like special circular entry door here. But then there's all these just propped up here. Oh. So somebody doesn't want somebody yeah. finding this so room. let's move these. Whoa, old computers? Big x-ray machine. Oh, it's the x-ray control panel. That's one of the cooler x-ray control panels that I've seen. Yeah, this is a big machine. It definitely has more pivot points than usual. Yeah, even this control board had like a full-on keyboard and two mini monitors. Just a circuit board, but there would have been like status indicators. So this says Memorandum for Chief of Experimental Surgery, Radiation Protection, Gamma Beam Equipment, holy shit. All right, let's see what this room is back here. Yeah. Oh, yes. This has got to be the main surgery room, and it was probably experimental surgery yeah. based on the memos we've seen. Wow. Thank you. 
What's this table look like underneath this? It's not what it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's just a table. It's, it's not actually anything. Yeah. Someone surgical. put it here. Yeah. This was definitely a surgical room though. No doubt about that. Oh my god, there is a lab called Biobubble slash Rat Lab. And they also had a space lab. All the labels are removed from these drawers except for this one. It says gauze sponges, so. Also checks out. This is such a nice room with the leaves against the window over there also. There's test result um, charts on the board. You can see all their different trials and the outcomes. Administration of agonists at serotonin. So I'm guessing the more they administer, the slower and more errors you made in these mazes. The endocrine physiology lab. This says surgical instruments right here. Yeah. Do you think that's like a little surgical area for animals? Probably something just for examining or testing. That's what I did rat surgery. They kept chloroform in here. No way. Yeah, you think that's to knock out whatever they're about to do surgery on? It says restricted area as soon as we get to the top of the stairs. And all the walls are tiled. Wow. This floor is uh, a little bit strange. These look like they used to be doorways or something. It does. And what are these little windows here? Very sterile feeling. What the hell were these rooms? This was the doorway, and that's a crazy window. Probably for observation of whatever was going on in here. Check it out, this says Necropsy Lab. More Supply Co. Gucci body bags. <laughs> There's no slab in here anymore, though. They must have took it out. You can see where the drain on the floor was. Oh, yeah. Slab would have been right here. Division of pathology. So this is the sign on the door to the necropsy lab. 
hazardous materials classification. They had level four for health hazard, deadly. Fire hazard, flashpoint was below 100 Fahrenheit. Reactivity, uh, violent chemical change. Check this out underneath it. Before work, after work. So maybe they were working on like really sketchy diseases up here. And that's why everything is like multiple layers of airlock. Here we go. Biohazard pathogens. This is the real dangerous stuff I'm guessing. No windows anywhere up in this part. It's completely sealed. Yeah. Whatever's coming up here looks quite strange. So this was the attic of the last building, but they built into it with these little rooms. Yeah, it's very low clearance. This is like where the Oompa Loompas would I work. Know, I would think it's just storage, but it has those laboratory decontamination things. It's so weird how low clearance everything is in here. Yeah. We saw this and we said you said it would oh, maybe, yeah, yeah, we know where we are. We came up the staircase to go to the floor below us. I mean, we already knew, but this is like extra confirmation that this was animal testing. Yeah. Humane animal care. All right, so we've completed all of the floors of this building. All that's left is the basement. Wow, it's really crusty out there. What is this thing? It says whole body counter. The patient then lies down in the carrier and is automatically moved forward into the counter. There is a positive control button to press if the individual wants to be removed. The whole body count lab was used to measure high energy gamma rays emitted from the body. This made it possible to study the radioactive fallout and isotope metabolism, allowing the measurement of natural and attained radioactivity in the human body. This equipment was used for measuring personnel involved in nuclear research, as well as soldiers who were sent to observe nuclear tests in the Nevada desert. At the time of installation, it was only the second of its kind in the world and was extremely important for the research of the effect of nuclear radiation on the body. This looks like a um, 
what is it? Like a patch panel. What are the tubes? This would be to patch two lines together. Like an old telephone operator? That's what I'm assuming. Or maybe just the uh, intercom systems. Probably the intercom. It says... Or the internal phone systems. Vitro electronics. Um, monkey room. Monkey room? Monkey room. It says it. <laughs> So I guess they had their own little broadcast thing for the facility. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this mural. Yeah. It's mostly gone. Yeah, an astronaut. The rest of the campus has been redeveloped. However, this building is very specialized and makes adaptive reuse difficult. It will likely be demolished in the near future. So we stuck to our word. We actually came back here with waiters and we are going into the sub basement where this supposed nuclear reactor would have been. Maybe it's still there. I highly doubt that. I think but it's going to be level that's fully submerged. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> we need scuba gear. <laughs> Gotta make it awkward. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Strap in. That's the sub basement. It's gonna be so cold in here. It's less water than last time. Way less water. Still too much for boots, but. Here goes nothing. Okay, it's pretty expansive down here. I already see an entire hallway. The stuff you're kicking up as you walk Ooh, in the water There's a dead too. rat here. In the water? In the water. This is nasty. Okay, so far I'm just seeing more labs. There's a hallway that goes this way. Watch for holes in the floor, because there is another sub-basement below us. It's like a sunken ship under here. Oh! What the fuck was that? <laughs> that oh something fell God. from the ceiling. All right, which way should I go? I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up down here. I'm gonna here. go left. Okay. Sure. Oh, I'm caught on something. Oh, uh, yeah. You kick up everything and I can't see. You can't see the floor? Yeah. Condensate return. If we like hit something that's sharp down here, we're getting wet. Yeah. Cannot get a puncture. There's some. This is a dead end. Yeah. This is just crawl space. Mm, something hit me. Oh. Which way? I'm gonna go left first. Okay. This is probably going to be another dead end with just an elevator. No, it is definitely not just a dead end. 
Yeah. So there's another stairwell here. I don't remember seeing the top side of this one. Probably goes to the extra floor down below. And this is like a big vault room. What is this? Just a big vault room, I don't know. Vault, okay. Yeah, look at the I door. See the door yeah. And then just two more labs. Yeah. Yeah. Fully tiled though. That one is, this one isn't. It goes the same place. This might just be the stairs that go actually down. Yeah. Yeah, this is the real stairs down. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. So yeah. that's where the irradiated swamp monster lives. So we're coming back to our Scooby gear? It's so murky, even without us kicking anything up. Yeah. Damn, so I guess we did all that yeah. just for this. Yeah. At least we know. We had to know. Yeah. The good stuff is all scuba. completely underwater. Eventually, scuba gear. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I was getting stuck on a lot coming back this way. Oh my god, I'm like stuck on everything. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Careful. Oh, I, I feel it. It ripped my thing. No way. It ripped it. So you're flooded. You're actually flooded. Yeah, I'm flooding. Oh my god. We gotta just get out. <laughs> yeah. These things are not as durable as I would have hoped. You got the hole right there. Nice. How far out do we have? Only like 30 feet. Yeah. You wanna just hop on one floor or are you just gonna say fuck it? I'm going fast. Okay. I'm gonna put my foot up on the water when I'm not stepping. I think we actually saw everything. That's it without going down. Alright. Without going completely underwater. Was there anything on the wall at all that said like reactor no, or anything. anything? Like, come on, give us something. Oh, splash my camera. I'm trying to go fast. Quick step down. Oh, 